Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips, and welcome to another video tutorial. Um, this one is a viewer requested one about how to uh, work with multiple audio tracks, and this is also basically the same for video tracks as well. If this, is, if uh, you're looking to do that as well, so um, in in the person who requested it, he uh, basically he's working with three different types of audio, and he would like to. Uh, and he would ha like to have them overlapping in certain points and stuff. Now, um, some of you might have multiple audio tracks. Like, this says audio 1, possibly below that. You'll have audio 2, audio 3. You know, the list can go on. And same thing for video, video 1, video 2. But sometimes you might not have those tracks there. So there are actually two ways that we can go about this. Um, first of all, so I've got my original video here and uh... it's got the audio with it which is in the audio one slot and um... and if if for some reason you want to play around with this audio without having to worry about this um... like it being linked with the video one um... what you want to do is you want to right click on it you want to press unlink and what this does is it separates the video from the audio so these two are now independent independent sorry about that and then um so then after you unlink it you just click off of it so that nothing's selected and then as you can see you can click on either one and for instance I could drag that over there or whatever and then if for some reason you want to link it back up you can just select both of them right click and press link and they're together again so that's just like a little tip when you're working with audio um okay so then I've got these other two things um this little sound recording that I just recorded couple minutes ago and then also this mountain creek or something I, I wanted to choose audio that wasn't copywritten so I wouldn't get flagged for anything on YouTube you know um, so when um, so as you can see there's only one audio track but we want them overlapping so we need multiple audio tracks so if when I grab this and drag it down um, it can act and if you put it in like this uh, in a place where um, where there is no audio track and if I just let go, it creates a new audio, um, a new like audio layer, I guess. And um, also, you can press the drop down right here. If uh, well, on this one, it's sort of hard to see. Let me increase this by like. Okay, so if you wanted to see the uh, the individual like beats or something like that, um, that's that's all that does. See, I can I can make this smaller, and you can't see the uh, the actual like waves in the music. Um, and then same thing for this one, this little short clip. Um, I can drag it down to somewhere where there is no track, so just below the master, and it creates audio three. So that's uh, so that's how to add additional um, audio layers, audio tracks to it and uh, so that's like the automatic way and if for some reason yours doesn't want to like automatically create layers there's another way to go about it um, let me just let me just really quickly delete these to get back to where I was oh yeah I should probably tell you guys what I'm doing hold on so if for some reason you have more audio tracks than you need which isn't really a big deal because because if it's blank, you know, and if you're not using it for anything, it's like doing no harm, so it doesn't really matter if it's there, but if for some reason you want to like conserve space on your timeline, something like that, um, you just right click on your timeline, or actually it's got to be, got to be, uh, it, it act, not actually on the timeline, like a little to the left of it, like over here somewhere, you just press delete tracks and you can either choose to delete audio tracks or or video tracks or audio tracks. Um, so I'm obviously going to choose audio, so I'm going to check that, and then you get to choose um, what you want deleted, so I'm just going to choose audio too. Okay, so we're back to how it started originally with only one audio track. So another way to add audio tracks um, manually is to right click in the same spot that we did before. Instead of delete tracks, we're going to add tracks. And then um, then it gives you the option to add video, audio, or 
whatever this is, audio submix tracks. I've never used these, and I have no idea what they are. So I apologize uh, for my ignorance there. So video tracks, we don't want to add any for this instance, but if you want to, you obviously could. And then um, for audio tracks, let's say we want to add three. So we're going to add three audio tracks, and then placement, that's pretty self-explanatory wherever you want it to go. And then um, also track type, mono, stereo, or 5.1 surround. Um, most instances... Uh, most instances you're probably going to be using stereo but if for some reason you have mono or 5.1 surround then you'll obviously go with that and I'm just gonna press OK and looky there we have uh, we got a whole bunch of audio tracks now that you can just drag now okay here here's sort of a, an important thing so this mountain creek is actually mono if I uh, if I look at it right here this sure shows how many hertz it is it's compressed and it's mono so obviously since we created three additional tracks that are all stereo it's not going to let me place it in it so if, if I wanted to add a track that was um, I'm just going to delete those if I wanted to add a track that was mono let me just put in zero for the video and I obviously changed the track type to mono just press OK take Mountain Creek and it allows me to drop it right in audio too because this is a mono mono track so I hope that was useful for you guys um, if it was please like the video um, subscribe for more videos of course if you have any questions please feel free um, please feel free to leave a suggestion and um, right now let's see it's December 19th and tomorrow evening I'm actually leaving for a vacation to go to Florida so I'm gonna be gone for around nine days I think um, so I'm probably not going to be doing tutorials while I'm down there in Florida, but I'm obviously going to be checking my YouTube regularly. Um, so if you have any suggestions, leave it, and I'll get to it um, as soon as I get back from Florida. And um, what else? Yeah, just leave a, leave a comment or um, a private message if you have any questions or any suggestions. So thanks for watching, guys. I am Alan from Premier Pro Tips. Have a nice day.